This is a question on trigonometric function graph. And we're told to copy and complete the table of values for y is 2 cos x plus 3 sin x for 0 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 360 degrees. Now, you can do it piecewise to try and fill in the table okay, by using the calculator. You can say you want to evaluate, okay, like here, y. To get y, you press alpha and where we have y in red, okay, is equal to 2 cos x plus 3 sine x. Okay, now you can ask the calculator, you can just verify then ask the calculator to calculate for you by pressing the calculator function. Then, what's the value of x? Zero. Okay, so we can see that y is two when x is zero. Again, you can say calculate when x is. 60 and notice we are working in degrees now it's giving us in sort just press this to translate to decimal sort to decimal so this is 3.598 okay but because we are in in the table that was plotted for us it was done in one decimal place so we can round that up to one decimal place oh when x is 120 put that in decimal y will be 1.6 when we round up 1.59 hits to one decimal place that will be 1.6 you can just continue like that but as a rule of thumb generally i advise students that you don't need to be calculating piecewise like this there is better for you to actually use the table the fs911 es has a function of generating a table automatically for you and that will limit the error that could have generated so if you go to mode then seven for table you can find the function of x now our function of x is y here so you can say it is 2 cos x plus 3 sine x that x is alpha bracket okay so what's the start value we want to start from zero what's the end value we want to end at 360 okay then what's the incremental value? What's the step? It is being taken in steps of 60 degrees. So with this, the calculator automatically generates our table for us for the value of x and the function of x. And you can see the first entry 0, y is 2, the second one 60, y is 3.6, and on and on like that. Now, down to the last entry 360. You can see for 240, we have minus 3.6. So this is quite accurate. And on the go, you get all the values. It will limit the mistake that can be done. So once you have generated your table, you can just fill in the table. And for example, when S is 360, it is 2. That's already a complete circle. In degrees, 360 and 0 are actually the same thing. So this is 2.0. So with that, we are through with our table that we are asked to complete. So we are to use this table to now plot our graph but on the graph we have to use two centimeters to 60 degrees on the x axis and two centimeters to one unit on the y axis so oh, no problem they've given us the scale we don't have any problem with that so yeah already we generated our table this is the table of values for the equation y is equal to um two cos x that's two cos x plus three sine x okay that's what we generated previously now we want to plot the graph for that particular equation graph of the function y is equal to 2 cos x plus 3 sine x we've been given the scale to use but we need to see the distribution of our axis. now for example on the s axis we don't have any negative value for the value for for the x okay the degrees are all in positive range so we need to move our horizontal our vertical axis towards the left so that we can cater for all the positive values of x but for y we have negative and positive values we have plus 3.6 as the highest value we have minus 3.6 as the lowest value so we need to scale that evenly above and below the horizontal axis so Using the scale that we are giving, 
two centimeters to represent one unit on the y axis, then two centimeters to represent 60 degrees on the x axis. This is what our graph layout is going to look like. And the scale is at two centimeters represent one unit on the y axis, while two centimeters represent 60 degrees on the x axis. So, with this, we can go ahead to use the values that we have in our table to plot our graph. Like in the first case, when x is 0, y is 2. So, x is 0 degrees, y is 2. That's been shown in blue. That's y, 2. When x is 60 degrees, y is 3.6. So, for us to have 2 to 3 in these divisions, and there are only 5 boxes, that means each of the boxes is going to take dot 2 units. So, 2, 2 dot 2, and co. So, 3 dot 6 is going to be here. Okay? And then, we have 60 degrees and 3 dot 6. Their point of intersection is going to take our second entry. So, we have 60 degrees and 3 dot 6. Then, when x is 120 degrees, y is 1 dot 6. When x is 180 degrees, y is minus 2 that's shown in the cross and i'm just dotting it out now when x is 240 degrees y is minus 3.6 that's here okay where the meat is here so this is 3.6 when x is 300 degrees y is minus 1.6 okay that's located here Okay, so when S6 360 degrees, Y is 2. So we can go again up and that completes the cycle. Okay, it's a complete cycle. 0 and 360 degrees. That's a complete cycle. Now, looking at all these dots, because we know that it's a trigonometric function, we know it's going to be sinusoidal. So we are going to join them sinusoidally. So again, students, it's best that you make use of your French curve or a broomstick to link all these points but because i don't have that i will make do with a freehand sketch and i think this is a good representation of what the graph can actually look like and with that we have drawn the graph we have plotted the graph of y is equal to 2 cos x plus 3 sine x okay so now on the third question we are asked to solve the equation from the graph we have to use the graph to solve the equation 2 cos x plus 3 sin x is equal to minus 1. Now, if we take this equation we are given and we are to compare with the equation we've been working with, that is 2 cos x plus 3 sin x is equal to y. If you compare the two, you can see that the left hand side are equal. That means the right hand side they are also equal. So y is equal to minus 1. Now, in graph, what does y is equal to minus 1? What does it translate to? That translates to the fact that m. Um, we need to locate minus 1 on y and draw a straight line because this is actually a straight line graph. When they say y is minus 1, y is actually constant with that. So, what we've drawn initially, what we plotted initially is the graph of y is 2 cos x plus 3 sin x. That is the value of y. That's sinusoidal. But now, we are seeing that y is a constant. y is minus 1. So, we just go to... Um, the point where we have minus 1 on y. And here, y is minus 1 does not depend on x at all. You can see x is not being shown there. It's just a constant. Constant for all values of x. So we just plot a straight line graph on minus 1. So this is the graph for y is equal to minus 1. Okay? The line shown in blue. This is y is equal to minus 1. Alright? So now, once we have that... Now, appropriately, we should label that. Like I labeled the red, you also label the blue. That this is y is minus 1. Now, what is the solution to that? We just need to trace from the point of intersection of the uh, sinusoidal curve and the straight line and trace to the x axis to find the solution for our equation that we are looking for. Now, in the box, we have. 0 to 60, 
taking five boxes. So each of the boxes is going to be 60 divided by five, which is 12. So this graph on the x axis is an incremental of 12. So we want to start from 120. We have 120 plus 12, 132 plus 12. That will be 144 plus 12. That will be 146. Okay. And then plus 12. We can see that that will be um, 168. But our intersection here is in between 146 and 158. So if we are to take the mid value of that, we know that we'll get the solution for the first one. And the second one, we can see that it's just a small increment of one box after 300. So it will be 300 plus 12, which will be 312. You need to understand this analysis. If 0 to 60 is 5 boxes, that means that each of the boxes is 60 over 5 which is 12. So the incremental value is 12, 12 per small boxes. So here, we now have that the solution as we have traced from the line y is equal to minus 1, which is shown in blue. So the sinusoidal curve is giving us the solution to this equation 2 cos x plus 3 sin x is equal to minus 1 to b. x is equal to 162 degrees and x is equal to 312 degrees. That is the solution to this particular equation that we have to find using the graph that we are given. All right. Okay, so with that, we can now go to the last question that we are given. Now, make it a point of duty to show the equation, like for the red, the one I'm showing here, which you will show in pencil, you can say it is y equals to 2 cos x plus 3 sin x. For the one shown in blue, you write y is equal to minus 1, okay? That will hand you your full mark. But because I'm just using this, I don't want it to be clustered so that you don't see what I'm doing. That's why I'm just omitting it. So now, in the question 2, when x is 342 degrees, we are asked to find the value of y. So what we need to do is to locate the point 342. Now we have 312. After 312, 312 plus 12, that will be 324 plus another 12, that will be 336, plus another 12, that will be 342. So, that's just the small box before 360 degrees. So, now, in between the two, in between 336 and 348, we are going to have 342 degrees. And that's what we need to trace. Okay, so here is 342 degrees. So if we are to trace it up to our sinusoidal curve, okay, so what's the value on the y axis? That value is 1. So we just need to, from our graph anyway, now I will, I will always advise, even after getting this on the graph, confirm by calculating manually. In this case, I'm going to use the calculator, but from the graph, I can see that when x is 342 degrees, y is 1.0 degrees we are working in one decimal place so if you have to use your calculator just say that 2 cos x plus 3 sin x and now we want to solve for that what will it be our hex is now um 342 and you can see this is 0 0.97 which is approximately one so we're on the right track our solution is one and with that we have finished our question on this graph of trigonometric function all right